Hello, this is Ines from Tolerated Cinematics and today I'll be showing you how to recreate the famous strokes uh, slash lines from the famous game Modern Warfare. So um, this is what we're going to create today in Photoshop. Uh, it's pretty simple to create something like this. Um, all the effects I use or, well, tools I use are really simple to use. So um, yeah, let's get started and, re and just create a new file and just enter your dimensions so it will be different for every one of us so um, okay and then we're going to rename it to MV strokes and then hit OK and there we go and then shift and press shift F5 on the keyboard to um, get this window fill and then change it to a black background and hit OK uh, unless you already have a black background um, so yeah then you're going to create a new layer above this and um, we're going to select our brush tool then we're going to window brush or just press F5 on the keyboard and then we're going to these and uh, this option over here click and clear the brush controls so if you have done any changes to, to your, uh, to your um, brushes before it will just reset right now so um, the spacing we will change this back to 1% go to shape dynamics and the control will be pen pressure and that's all you have to do then just close this up and we're going to change the brush and brush size to 4 pixels and the hardness to 100 percent now we're going to take our pen tool and just click over here hold shift and click on the other side of our um, background and then just right click stroke path tool brush and simulate pressure then just hit OK. Oh, and I forgot something, so um, be sure it's a white color right over here. So right click again, stroke path, and hit OK. And there we go. Now just delete the path, and we're going to um, filter, and we're going to select liquify. Over here, you have to change uh, some of the settings. Um, for me, it will be brush size of 100% density of 50 and the brush pressure of 50 also and then show backdrop and let's take layer 1 opacity 100% behind and there we go now we can just start getting our base done so this won't be a lot of change over here just a little bit of changes and just like this over here so do it for the whole line there we go maybe it's a little bit too much over here okay and then we're going to hit OK and then duplicate this layer right click duplicate and hit OK and then just hold control press T on the keyboard and just rotate it 180 degrees so now you have another stroke over here so you don't have to redo all these settings or well, all this work uh, of course you can do this a few times and make it a little bit, a little bit um, smaller, thinner, and then go back to filter, liquefy, edit it just a little bit. And I'm gonna do this really quickly, but um, if you want to have some great work, you will have to take your time for this. So um, don't rush your work. So um, then I'm going to hold shift and select all the three layers that are affected with um, this stroke, and then right click, merge these layers and now we are going to create a new layer above these layers and what we are going to create now is um, the big stroke over here so the, the wave over here um, so that's just with um, the same uh, same yeah, way to do it so just stroke the path and hit OK and delete it and then we are going to filter, liquefy and then just change the um, brush pressure to 100 and now we just overdo the effect a little bit so um, in the middle a little bit more than on the other sides and there we go so it's really quickly done right over here so just hit OK and let's see um, they're a little bit thicker over here so we might change that um, change the brush maybe to 6 pixels and then just create a new layer again and do the same effect on that layer, stroke the path, hit OK, 
and delete the path go to filter liquify and then just do it again and now we have two of these um, big um, affected lines okay there we go and this looks pretty good I guess Hit okay and there we go and now what you can do is um well first of all this is a really quick um, wallpaper I cr um, strokes I created so um, yeah I didn't really take a long time for this as well but um yeah I'm just rushing this so um, you can just get on with uh, with the tutorial and just do it for yourself so now I'm gonna select all the three layers again right click and merge these layers and then I'm going to duplicate the layer hit OK and select the second layer over here and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and change it to 5 pixels and that's all you have to do and then hit OK and right click on this layer blending options and we're gonna change to and uh, take a color overlay and change it to like a green color and a green lemon color something like that hit OK and OK and then we're gonna select the first layer right click blending options and maybe we will take a gradient overlay but um, yeah if you're satisfied with a color uh, overlay you can just use this so I'm going for a gradient overlay and then I'm gonna double click and double click on the gradient and then change, change the colors to a really light uh, yellow and a really light uh, green greenish um, yeah again same sort of green that you used in your um, background right over there so something like that and over here maybe a little bit more intense and there we go and hit OK then I'm going to click on the inner glow change this maybe a little bit higher or well let's just keep it at 3 pixels and change the color to a really uh, nice yellowish lemon color again hit OK and also do a, another glow if you want to and also green color there we go okay and make the size a little bit bigger just like this okay, there we go and I'm not satisfied with the colors yet so I'm gonna change this a little bit more maybe a little bit more green over here and there we go okay hit okay and okay no for the other glow I'm gonna change the past a little bit less intense uh, something like that okay and there we go and now let's see what we have to do next um, well over here I created much more layers of um, this effect so yeah just do this on this way um, because I again I did it really fast uh, what you can do as well is um, also merge these layers and just redo the effect just a little bit so make brush size maybe 400 okay well I won't use this so less intense again 200 sides okay I don't know what it's gonna give okay so I don't like this effect I'm sorry um, to um, ruin your time okay so now create a new layer again and now we are going to create these um, dotted uh, things over here so um, that's not on the original um, wallpaper of Modern Warfare but uh, I thought it was a cool effect uh, it gave it some like uh, kind of energy looking effect so to do this uh, we're going to take our brush tool again go to window brush now the spacing will go to brush tip size shape and the spacing will be all up to 1000 percent and shape dynamics size jitter 100% scattering also one uh, 1000 okay and there we go so now what we have to do is just um, mess around a little bit with the settings and don't overdo it so just like this over here like I'm doing clicking um, on the uh, on the layer make the size like 20 now and just do the same thing okay there we go maybe a little bit too uh, maybe just change it to 12 pixels and okay there we go right click blending options color overlay and also a green 
lemon color and hit OK and OK create a new layer and hold control select both of the layers right over here right click merge the layers blending options and get in outer glow and inner glow to get some cool effects on this uh, on this um, okay there we go and this will keep like a yellow color so it's like intense uh, the effect is pretty cool so hit OK and then we're going to create a new layer select both of these layers right click merge these uh, layers go to filter blur and motion blur so that's what I done or no I didn't do motion blur but you can use motion blur if you want to right over here it's pretty cool as well but we want to do this for this tutorial so go to filter liquify and also I use the liquify tool so 100 size and just mess around right over here And there we go and as you can see you have some kind of energy on the background right now so what we want to do now is um, the motion blur on the background and to do that we're going to create a new layer again and just do the same that you've done for the, the other layers but um, with a bigger brush uh, size so like 15 pixels will be alright I guess and then we're going to take the pen tool and oh, before we do that we have to reset our settings right over here, Clas uh, clear brush controls and if we go to brush tip uh, shape the spacing again 1% and now take our pen tool hold shift to create right um, line stroke path ok and delete Oh, I didn't select something in the brush controls um, ok we're going back and go to shape dynamics control pen pressure go to layers again um, ok and then just take your pen tool right click stroke path hit ok delete the path and go to filter liquify and there we go now just change this again and there we go and this we are going to filter blur motion blur an angle of um, 90 degrees and just increase the, the pixels right over here so something like this hit OK right click blending options color overlay or a gradient um, yeah, depending on you what you want and just take a green color hit OK and a outer glow if you want to also green color and there you go and then just decrease the opacity of this um, layer and there we go we have the cool modern warfare effect and that I created um, while I was bored in class um, so yeah that's that thanks for watching for my uh, to my tutorial uh, I hope you uh, learned something new in this tutorial and if you liked it click the like button I don't know how much time I put in this tutorial about 50 minutes I guess and yeah so it only takes one second to click on the like button and yeah subscribe to my channel for my upcoming tutorials check out my channel for, for other tutorials and if you want to suggest uh, suggest me to create the same kind of effect and uh, adobe after effects uh, it's pretty easy so i can do that and this um, but only with particular so trip code particular is a plugin for after effects um, that i use uh, also you can do this with form but i don't have form so um, I can create a tutorial for that. So thanks for watching and take care. Bye.